what if every game was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? I would not be a gamer. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you play jazz music. Yes. Joshua 1012020. That's pretty cool. Um, Jay Bruin 7 asks, what's my favorite game? That's a very tough question to answer off the top of my head. Um, I, I'm very inclined to say Super Mario Brothers 3. Love Super Mario 3. It's, it's phenomenal. Mario 64 would also be up there. Even though it's a cliche choice, Zelda Ocarina of Time would be on that list. Um, as far as newer games, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, definitely on that list uh, for sure. Uh, Skyrim, Skyrim, even though, again, it's a newer game. And some people are less inclined to say that newer games are the best games of all time. But Skyrim was awesome. Loved it. Um, let's see what else. Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver is, is up there for sure. It's part of my favorite games of all time. Um, man, I'm trying. To, I'm looking over at my shelf and trying to think of others. Uh, Metroid Prime would probably be pretty. Oh no, not Metroid Prime. Super Metroid, I think, is better. Super Metroid would be high on that list too. Anyway, um, let's see if there's anything else that I can think of off the top of my head. I haven't played The Last of Us. I heard that's amazing. I haven't played it. Um, hmm. That's all I can think of, I suppose, for now. Uh, anyway, who's my favorite Marvel hero and why? S. C. Scott Seven. That's a great question. Um, my favorite Marvel hero. I think about that for a minute. Um, I guess out of like the main cinematic ones that have been in the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, probably. Oh man, it's a tough call. Tough choice. Probably Captain America. I do actually really like Captain America. I think his character and his movies are both the best. I think that what they did, because Captain America, like, think about it. He's a patriotic soldier. That's, that's pretty much what it is. That's his whole deal. And it's hard. How do you make that into a full-fledged character? And yet, I think they did a pretty good job of it. Um, in, in that they always throw, like, references to the, the past. And he's like, oh, I understood that reference. I thought that was one of the most clever lines of the Avengers. Um, and they make, they make his movies. His movies are genuinely very good and interesting and very action-packed. I didn't think Captain America was like anybody's favorite hero, but until the movies. And now everyone's like, Captain America hype. So I have to say, I, really, I like Captain America. Um, let's see what else we got. What's my favorite movie and why? I think I addressed this last time. It might be a movie that you not wouldn't think would be my favorite. But Terminator 2 Judgment Day is, in my opinion, the best movie sequel of all time. And also one of the greatest movies of all time. And it's my personal favorite. It has everything that a great action movie has. It has a great story, it has great characters, it has an awesome villain, it has everything, everything in my opinion. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. Um, let's keep going. Uh, GT Goku 2000 asks, have I ever been to E3? No, I have never been to E3. I have been to PAX East, of course, and I have been to um, MAGFest, are the two conventions that I've been to. Um, I'm gonna try to, if I can, if anyone's around Rhode Island area, I'm gonna try to stop by Rhode Island Comic Con on Saturday. I don't know if I'll actually have the ch uh, chance to go, but if I do, I Saturday would be the day to go. That is November 6th, I believe. Saturday, November 6th, I am gonna try to go to Rhode Island Comic Con for the day. Um, so that would be fun. Uh, but other than that, no, I haven't been to any other conventions. Although conventions are always a blast. I love them. Like, I wish I could go to more. Uh, I'll try to. I want to try to make Anime Boston this year if possible. Not that I'm into anime that much, but I've been to PAX so, so many times. Even though it's an awesome convention. I kind of want to, for the sake of variety, I've never tried Anime Boston. I think that would be fun. Anyway, um, do I like Halloween more as an adult or as a kid? Beautiful Yoshi asks. That's a great question. Um, I probably have to say a kid. I think it's just hard to not like Halloween when you're a kid uh, more. But that being said, as an adult, I still love Halloween. I still do a lot of great things on Halloween. I have fun with friends uh like i said this year i'm not doing any creative uh setup because it's actually on a saturday so i am actually going out with my friends uh for um for halloween uh so i'll i'll, I'll be sure to talk to you emperor blaze for Rhode Island comic con and just said hit me up okay i'll hit you up bro uh and uh yeah that'll be that'll be awesome actually to meet up again i will definitely let you know if i end up end up going all right um do i like halloween more i, I answered that question but it's hard to say. I'd probably say as a kid. I, I remember some pretty awesome trick-or-treating experiences. Uh, let's see. Fox experienced technical difficulties on the World Series. Fox is like the worst broadcast. I hate watching Fox. Because I, you get Joe Buck. Actually, I, Joe Buck is a fine baseball announcer. I think he's horrible at announcing football games. Because he's just, he's just not interested. He's not 
not and he's not interesting. He's not like like football can be has like big breakout plays where you have to be like super energetic and like super surprised and he's like well, it looks like a team just scored a touchdown. It's like, like football, when I play, when I like have a big breakout play, it's like, and he's going to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown. And it's like, that is a good sp- football broadcaster. Joe Buck doesn't do that. Um, but he makes a good baseball broadcaster because there's not those big breakout plays in baseball. And when there are, he does get genuinely excited. I think he's a good baseball commentator. Thank you. God, Tim McCarver is gone. I'm sorry, Tim McCarver, if you're listening to this, which he's probably not. But your broadcasting is abysmal. It was always bad. I have nothing against you personally. I'm sure you're a great guy. I'm sure you're a great guy. But man, it was you would just say some of the dumbest things sometimes, <laughs> and uh, and really add no insight. Well, well, the batter has two strikes, to, uh, Joe. So he's really going to want to avoid getting that third strike. Really. Really, is he? And the other one is Harold Reynolds, who I also cannot stand listening to uh, because he's just like, so incredibly biased. Uh, he's like, you know, when I was a player, things weren't... Th- That's not his voice. That's not his voice. It's, you know, when I was a player, things really weren't the same around here. Uh, or uh, it's you, We know as players, we really know how the game works. You know all these people with sabermetrics? They don't know how the game works. People that keep stats... They don't know how the game works. You know how? Who knows how the game works? Players. That's that's him. And he says these most outlandish things. And he just says, you know what? It's right because I played the game. Did you play the game? No. That means I, it's right. So anyway, ridiculous, stupid. Thank God he's done. I hate I hate listening to him in those games. Uh, anyway. Ah, uh, gosh. Let's keep going. Um. Sorry, that was a long tangent. Uh, any dream of travel? Any dream travel destination that Salazar and I? Good question, considering I just came back from El Salvador. Not one of my dream destinations, but I'm glad I went. It was quite an experience. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where am I traveling to soon? Uh, in the summer. Next summer, I'm traveling to Colorado with the family uh, for a week. That'll be fun. Um, where am I travel? Where would I love to travel? I've been to Italy. Italy would have topped my list because I am Italian, after all. Uh, and I've, I've been there. You know what? I have to kind of be boring on this one but i would love to go to well actually no i'll be exciting i love to go to japan if possible but the problem is the flight is just so long to get to japan i don't know if i'd want to do that uh I, i'm sure it would be great and so cool and you get the best food and it would be it would be an absolute blast but like god the the friggin the, the flight would be is so long like who wants to do that um but anyway, a more reachable travel destination to be boring. I really want to go to Toronto. And I know that's probably not much of an exotic de- destination. I've never been to Canada. And I really want to go to Toronto and catch a Red Sox Blue, Blue Jays series in, in Toronto. I think that would be awesome. And meet up with a lot of my friends there. Uh, I think that would be a lot of fun. Anyway, I know it's kind of a boring one in Toronto. It's like, that's not really exotic. But I'm not really one for like exotic beach vacation. Like that just doesn't, that's not my thing. You know, I, I, I mean, I love it. I love the beach. Don't get me wrong. I live in Rhode Island or like right on the coast. Of course, I like the beach. Um, but it's just, I don't know. It's meh. Whatever. Uh, Quebec would be cool too. Any, anywhere in Canada would be would be really cool. Quebec, uh, Ontario, uh, anywhere in there. Um, Toronto, all that type of stuff. Vancouver would be cool. I'd like to go there. Uh, all right. Anyway, keep going. Mars Rover asks, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or Moose Safari? Oh, my God. Uh, I have to pick Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The Moose Safari was just that bad. It was it was the worst. At least Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, I got into it for a little bit. The Moose Safari, I was totally zoned out. I, I honestly wish you could have... Ex- uh, no, I don't. I don't wish that upon my worst enemy that they could have experienced it. But just so you could fully comprehend what I'm, what I'm talking about as to how horrible it was. It was terrible. Um... What's the best Halloween costume I ever had as a kid? As Hodge Chastic. That's a good question. I've had a lot of good ones. Probably the best, though, the most memorable, was me dressing up as a Krispy Kreme donut man. In that I had the Krispy Kreme outfit. I had the logos taped to my uh, shirt. Krispy Kreme is a donut um, chain, if you don't know what Krispy Kreme is. Uh, we went out of business in Rhode Island after that. But we used to have one. We used to have one, one in Rhode Island. Uh, and it was, like, crazy popular. Uh, but it went out of business. They're kind of restricted chain now. But um, 
I dressed up as a Krispy Kreme donut man with like the striped shirt, and I carried around a, a box of a dozen donuts, not actually with donuts in them, but the box to get all the candy and everything. It was a really, and I had like a hat. That was a really cool costume. It was really like outside the box. Um, so I, th I thought that was probably the most creative one. Of course, I was like, you know, when I was really little, I was like Superman. I was the Red Power Ranger, and I was all those those things. But that was probably the most inventive costume that I had. Um, let's see. Does two plus two equal fish? Asked uh, Tristy Weston. Well, it depends. If you define the uh, the variable fish to equal four, then yes, you'd be correct. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't. Um, did I like Horrorland and Mario Party 2? Asked Lazy Kirby 22. That's probably my favorite board in Mario Party 2, actually. Uh, that would be great for a future Halloween stream. Maybe next year if I'm still doing the stream and stuff, which I hope to be. Um, that would be a great Halloween stream. Uh, 50 turn Horrorland. That would be fun. Um, yes, I love Horrorland. It's a lot of fun. Horrorland, Westernland, and Pirate Land and Space. Actually, they're all good. They're all good in Mario Party 2. Except, I don't, I hate Mystery Land. Mystery Land's dumb. Uh, so, but they got, like, most of them right. So, Mystery Land is not, is not very fun. Um, but other than that, they're, they're pretty good. So, anyway, um, just putting on some music in the background here. You guys know this one. Should know this one, anyway, if you can hear it. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. How did it feel to meet Chugga Conroy? Asked Kirby user in Smash. Uh, it was pretty, it's pretty fun. Like, he's, he's a cool guy. I don't know. I, I, it's, that's a hard question for me to answer because I don't feel like he's, uh, you know, it's just like meeting another friend. I've met a lot of friends that are Let's Players, and he, he was just another one. Not to say that he, he's not an interesting person or that that was, wasn't great to meet because, of course, it's great to meet new people. Um, I don't know. I didn't really hold him in any special regard. Uh, but, no, whatever. I kicked his ass in Smash Brothers. No, I didn't. I'm only kidding. I beat Proton John, though. Uh, that was that was a highlight. Um, and, and Nintendo Capri Sun's really cool. He's a cool guy. We talked a lot. And uh, Proton John is awesome. We went to a party together, Proton John and I, um, which was pretty fun. So, uh, yeah. You know, it, it's cool. It's cool to meet those guys. Um, I met. I also met um, the Completionist. Uh, I met him. I met Pro Jared. Um, I met, and we talked. We talked for a while. We just, you know, I met Smoother Groove. He does all the acapella stuff on on YouTube. I met him. We talked for a while. Uh, not just like at a convention meetup. Like we had like a little hotel like gathering, um, which was pretty cool to do that. Uh, I met uh, some call me Johnny. He, he's he's a really nice guy. I, I really like the guys from Brain Scratch Comms. I have to be perfectly honest. Um, I really thought they were really cool guys. It was fun to talk with all of them. Ted and uh, Ryan and all them. Anyway, what do we got? Uh, what do we got? Uh, uh, let's see, let's see. Good stream. Thanks, Lady Kirby22. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, what do I think of Mario Tennis Ultra Smash? I think I addressed this last time, but I'll, I'll say it again. I don't like any of the newer Mario Tennis games after... Uh, I mean, not that I don't like them. I shouldn't say that. I actually do like them. Um, but after Mario Power Tennis, I think it got a little hand-holdy. Uh, no, I take that back, because Mario Tennis uh, Power Tour for GBA was was fine. I got a little hand-holdy in that it, it gave you indicators as to exactly where the ball was going to be hit on the court. So all you had to do was like match the color, and your character would move automatically. I, I don't, I didn't like that. Um, it was too handholdy. In Mario Power Tennis, you had to really know the game, excuse me, and really know what was going on to do well. Um, so not to say I won't like it though. I'm sure it'll be fun. Um, GT Goku asked, "Do I like the Super Mar new Super uh, Mario Maker update?" I was just talking about that earlier. Yeah, of course. Conditional power-ups, I think, was a big thing missing from. Uh, that's all I know that was in it, though. I don't really know anything else. I haven't heard much from it. I heard it on the stream, and I'm like, I've been streaming, so I haven't really been able to check it out. I'll check it out right after this, though. I'll log in um, and download the update. Uh, what's my favorite candy? That's Agitastic. <sighs> Good question. Probably Almond Joy. I'm a, I'm a big... I like Almond Joy. Um, definitely. Probably a good runner-up, though. Kit Kats, I think, are good. Kit Kats are basic, but that's the thing. Basic sometimes is the best. I just want, like, a basic candy bar. Kit Kat. Um, but probably Almond Joy is my favorite. I really have to say. They're really good. Um, let's see. Let's see. Scrolling down here. Scrolling down here. Do I like Lost? Asked Joshua. One zero one two zero two zero. I've actually never watched Lost, believe it or not. But I do have the uh, DVDs. I have actually all the DVDs for Lost. 
Um, but I've never watched. It's like one of those things. I'm like, I've been meaning to watch this, and I will eventually watch it. Um, but I've actually not watched it, which is which is kind of disappointing. It is it is something I actually really want to get into, but I have yet to watch Lost. Very very sad, like I said. Um, anyway, uh, sorry, I'm trying to find a specific um, song to play that I can't seem to locate at the. Oh, here it is. Can't say. Couldn't seem to locate that at the moment. All right. Um, let's see what else we got. Uh, so that's lost. I answered that. I answered that. World Series, top of the fourth. Mets won. Royals won. Good stuff. I'm gonna turn that on actually right when I'm done here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. moving down, moving down, moving down. Anime Game Kid, welcome. He said, what's going on? I know he answered for a while. I'm, I'm like way behind in the chat. I know he said hi a while ago. Uh, let's see. It is, yeah, the official Musafari is the worst thing ever. It, it, it really, there is no no redeeming factor from it. At least with the other things, you could take away something and be like, you know, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is an awful game, but let's try not to design games that way. Musafari is just like, why does this exist? And why did I do it? Oh, God, it's the worst. Um, what kind of math do I teach, SJ Bruin 7? Currently, this year, I mean, I can teach any kind of math. I teach Algebra 2 Honors and Discrete Math. Discrete Math is kind of like a uh, it's like practical math. It's really for students that can't handle pre-calculus. Um, so it's kind of like a easier sort of class that focuses on more practical applications for those that are not so much into math, um, which is good. I think it's good that we have a class like that. But that being said, I think it's a little easy. So I'm, I, next year, I'm really going to try to... I, like this year, I've just been handed the curriculum. It's like, okay, go ahead, teach it. Um, but next year, I really want to work to like spice up the curriculum. It's, I mean, I'm all for... I don't want to like kill the kids because, it's again, it's for kids that really can't, are not that into math. But that being said, like you should make a cakewalk. It should be a little hard. All right. Um, let's see. You've been to a beach... At, uh, east side beach of the u.s once it was beautiful it is beautiful go to the beaches in rhode island we honestly not to even be biased rhode island has some of the nicest beaches i i would even argue in the country to be perfectly honest narragansett beach is one of the most beautiful beaches in the country uh, newport beach second beach in newport gorgeous um of course you get cape cod and all those too in massachusetts but honestly i have to not even from a biased perspective uh it is beautiful um let's keep going what do we got? What do we got? A few more questions here, and then we're gonna call it a day. Um, booze or dry bones? That's a random question. Probably booze. I like booze better. Um, okay, Mets uh, took the lead, top of the fifth, two to one, oh, over KC. Uh, let's see. Do do do. Scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. Uh, Real tone, fifteen. S. How was my day? That's a good question. Yeah, that day was fine. I've been a little tired from the trip. I haven't really been able to cover on sleep yet. Um, from my trip to El Salvador, but I've been, today was fine. Today was a good day. Can't really complain. Schedule wise, it's an easy day. Tomorrow is a hard day, schedule wise, so that's going to be it. I have my work cut out for me tomorrow. I have an observation tomorrow, so I got to prep. I got to be like on top of my game, but I'll be fine. Just shave. Clean up a little bit. Uh, pre calc geometry that Jay Bruin hated. Yeah, pre calc geometry are much more visual. Some people, it's, again, it's those people like you're either algebra or geometry people. Um, I like both, of course, but. Anyway, I think I hate that. I don't like that algebra and geometry are taught as separate things in the sense that a lot of people see them as there's algebra and geometry when really there's a lot of connections between the two of them. They all they all play together. Um, and I think pre-calc really does tie them together. But still, I wish it was, uh, you know, taught a little bit more as a blended topic rather than this is all geometry, which geometry, I think, is way easier than algebra, too. Um, like pro tip, if you're if you're in like geometry honors, and or say like geometry CP, and you do really well, or, or like not like the highest level geometry that's offered, and you do say you get an A, even if you ace it, um, and you're like, you know, I think I should switch up to honors, I would highly recommend to be wary because algebra two can can kick your butt. Um, so I mean, if you're if you want to challenge yourself, go for it, but know that once you hit algebra two, you're you're playing with the big boys now. You're not like messing around anymore in algebra one. So, anyway, let's move around. Let's move on. It's not just like, oh, let's solve equations. He broke me with, break Shadow Mario's with an axe? What? He broke me with an axe, slain Chocobo? Good to see you, though. Right at the end of the stream, you made it. Um, 
do, 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 do. Move on here. Um. Oh, the Mario Maker update's coming. It's not. It's not here yet. Okay. Good to know. What do I think of the latest me costume updates to Smash Brothers? So many choices. I love the Black Knight costume. That's so cool. Honestly, I haven't bought any of the costumes, but I think that's the that might be one that I buy because it's so funny. Um, I, I I I like costumes. Costumes are fine. I'm not one to really buy costumes unless I really know that I'm going to use them. The one instance I did buy a DLC costume that I'm happy I did was when I played Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I bought Zero's DLC Mega Man costume because I knew I would use it all the time. But for the other ones, like all the sword fighters, like for Smash, I'm not going to use like the the virtual fighter costume for the me brawler or the uh you know all the costumes for the me gunner like i'm really just not going to use them because i don't play those characters so it doesn't doesn't make a difference to me um so that's that what else we got oh we got brawl's uh, pirate ship stage which i'm so glad is in the newest game i don't know why that got cut out of smash 4 originally that was like one of my favorite stages in brawl um one of the only good things about that game so anyway uh gamecube or wii u asks kirby user in smash i have to say gamecube Oh, that's kind of an unfair question because I have, um, oh, maybe not, maybe not over Wii U, because Wii U. Think about what Wii U has. Wii U has a lineup of Wii games. That's all the Wii games. Wii U games. It has all the Virtual Console, so it has a much better lineup overall. But my GameCube, I love. I still use the GameCube. I don't actually use the Wii to play GameCube games because it has the GBA player on it, so it's more efficient to have it that way. Um, yeah, as, as Emperor Blaze will tell you, he's had me as a teacher. It's no cakewalk. Absolutely not. It is uh, it is a challenge. It is a challenge. And, I mean, it's supposed to be a challenge. That's the whole point. Um, but you got to make it fun. you got to try to make it interesting. You can't just be boring. Because it's, it's so easy to make math boring. Because it's a boring... It, it can be a boring topic sometimes, you know? It's not the most interesting thing in the world. But if you can connect it to real world... And you can make it fun. You could be energetic and exciting and try to mix it up a little bit with what you do. It can be a fun, fun topic for sure. Um, okay. Uh, well, a few more questions, then we're going to wrap it up here. Have you ever watched Once Upon a Time as Lego Master 719? No, I have not. Um, not. doesn't seem like my kind of show. I like Breaking Bad. I like Walking Dead. I like all that type of stuff. I probably, I don't know if I'd like Once Upon a Time. Um... Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Who are, who's going to be next for DLC costumes? I don't know if King K. Rule, K, probably King K. Rule, is going to be. Is this he already have a DLC costume? I forget. Um, who's going to be next for a playable character in Smash? That's what I'm wondering because you know we're going to get it for the holiday season. We're going to get the, another character, probably the result of the Smash ballot. Uh, I hope it's Isaac from Golden Sun. Man, I'm really pushing for that. If it's not like Sora, but I think that's kind of a pipe dream to be like. No, oh, it should be Goku. That's not going to happen. Should be Sora. I don't think that's going to happen either. Even though Sora's been on non uh, on Nintendo consoles, even though his you know his main console games are on PlayStation, he's been on 3DS. He's been on GBA. Maybe it's not impossible. If it's not Sora, which again I think would be a bit of a long shot, definitely Isaac from Golden Sun would be great. Um, anyway, so I think that might be a good place to stop. Uh, that would be a good place to stop. Do I have any other creepy music I can play quickly? Uh, yeah, we can play this one super quick. Um, so this pretty much does it for the stream tonight. It was a lot of fun. I wish, uh, if we played Luigi's Mansion, we played, uh, Castlevania, a little bit of that. We played some Super Mario 64, uh, Big Boo's Haunt, and of course... We played Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde again. I, this is the actual cartridge of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. This is not um, not a, a reproduction, not a fake. It's a legit copy. So uh, next week's stream is the 10th Shadow Stream. It's hard to believe it's been. I've been doing this for 10 weeks already. Um, so that one is going to be on Mega Man X. We're going to do Mega Man X1, X2. And uh, then I think I might have you guys pick the last one. I should be able to beat them, though, in the time. That'll be fun. Then after that, we're going to do a multiplayer stream. Uh, Shadow Stream 11, you guys requested, can we do more multiplayer stuff? Yep. It's going to be all multiplayer uh, stuff for the 11th stream. And then I have a pretty cool idea if after that um, involving more more games uh, like this one. So, in any case, um, I thanks for watching, guys. I really, again, appreciate you guys coming out. Again, if you'd like to support the stream, there's a link down below. 
if you'd like to uh, send it, give me any suggestions. I'm always open to suggestions. I really, I can't stress it enough how much I really truly appreciate you guys joining me. And I really do look forward to these every week. It's a nice break from the, the weekly uh, work schedule and everything. Time is tight and I'm glad I'm able to, to at least have this time to stream. It's a lot of fun. So in any case, uh, good luck in math. Uh, happy Halloween. Be safe if you're trick or treating. Be smart if you are partying. Uh, just, you know, keep your head on straight and dress up. And if you dress up in a cool costume, I want to hear about it next week. All right. See you guys.